<laughs> いつも君は可愛いね。All right. Um, hello, guys. This is Mr. Bacon Bits, and uh, <sighs> welcome back to another VN. I don't know if this is gonna be like Doki Doki Literature Club, although those eyes are really weird, but um. Now let's look at the prologue. Oh, heroine's name. Okay. Huh. Let's see. I'm going to do. Okay. Your name will be Clee Taurus. Proceed? Yeah, why not? Okay, so this is、uh, Kitty Love. For the Nintendo Switch, I'm guessing? I haven't seen any other、uh, platforms for it. But, um, yeah. Anyway, this is nice weather. This is a flower shop called Flora. We have a good reputation in town. Good morning! I've been working here for a one. Oh, God. Are you kidding me? Alright, looks like we have rough translation issues here. Recently, I've got regulars too. Takuma, I'll do my t t day! <laughs> oh god, it's even worse than I thought. Good morning, thank you. Yes! This is Takuma Suguri. He's always cheerful and nice. And because of how he looks trustworthy, he's popular amongst women from all age. Uh, I've got some potted miniature rose this morning. It's quite cute, so can you display on the area where people can see them? Sure! Oh, then can I change the general display a little bit? I wanted to make it more seasonable. Okay, sure, I'll let you decide on layout. Thank you! When I started the job, I made many mistakes. I'm sure I've made troubles for him, but recently I've been asked to manage on displaying and flower arrangement. Alright, I'll go for delivery, so take care of the shop for me. Okay, Takuma! Takuma smiled and waved his hand before he left for the delivery with small motorcycle. I'll do my best, said Cletorus. Flower Shop Flora! When picked up the phone, it was from our regulars. I took out the memo. Good morning, Mr. Saijo. Thank you for calling us. Couple of wisteria and iris? Sure. I'll prepare for you. Thank you very much. See you soon. Um, wisteria and iris. Wisteria and iris. It's so nice to be surrounded by flower. Yeah, like. Especially when you're baking. But it's a standing job, so, so little tiring. <clears throat> Well, Takuma is away, so. I was massaging my leg. Oh, yeah. That I've been using for this standing job every day. Working in a flower shop was harder than I thought. I've been standing all day, and the job requires the cold water. Hi, anyone there? Ah, hi, I'll be right there. I want to have this potted rose. Okay, is this for your house? Um, excuse me. Ah, yes, I'm sorry, I'll be handing you next. The shop is near the station, and there's many c u s t o m e r coming. Because the shop is small, the shop manager decided to work with only me and him. It's quite hard, but I like working here. I bet you do. I'm back. Welcome back! Oh, good, I wanted to ask you about something. We pass our days dealing with customers every day. Yep. I'm going to take a break from now. Alright, I'll see you later. There were more customers than usually so. I was taking a break late today. I think I should go there again. Um. Whatever. I got some bread from the nearby bakery and went to the park. This park, Wild with Green, is my favorite. Over the weekends and holidays, there's a lot of family with little kids visiting, buttering the. <laughs> 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 
During the weekday, it's quiet and peaceful. How the hell do you mistranslate that? Uh, anyway. Hope I can see. Oh, the flower is on is flower bed time! <laughs> uh, okay. Is this one sick? The soil is too dry. Uh, I'm thinking about the flower again. Uh, it's a curse already. I'll take a good rest and work well in the afternoon. I sat down again the area I usual place. <laughs> this new bread is so good. I started to have some bread and there was a kitty coming closer. Oh, how cute. Oh, here he comes. Here, I'll give you some bread. Aw, you're so adorable. This park is also becoming a meeting point for stray cats. I sometimes come and relax with cats sometimes. Hey, hey, I'll give you more, so don't rush. The cat took my bread and started to eat by my feet. Does it taste good? Good, good. Hmm, are you done? <laughs> when it's finished, the stray cat left again. Oh, it's gone again. I wish I can be like a cat. They have more freedom. Of all the things you could wish for. I was having a, f a thoughts to escape from reality. When I checked the time, it was almost a time to go back to the shop. Oh, is it a time? <laughs> yes, it is many time. I prepared to go back and left the park. Wow, this thing is going by a mile a minute. After I went back to the shop and prepare for the afternoon, I heard the bicycle bell that I've heard before. Hello, Mr. Fujimoto. Oh, hi. How are you? Are you going around for a patrol? Yeah. This is Shogo Fujimoto. He's the police officer who helped me when I was having trouble with a drunk man before. Okay, just random backstory. After that, he sometimes checked the shop once in a while. He might l look scary. That looks scary? Especially when he's riding on a bicycle with a little dingy bell on it? <laughs> okay, whatever. Anime logic. Thank you for patrolling. Is this a rose? Ah, oh, yes. Isn't it small and cute? We just got today. Yeah. Mr. Fujimoto nodded and looked at the miniature rose. Interesting. Oh, he smiled a little? The flower that he's looking is usually the ones that young women likes. Oh, so he has, so he has someone already. Okay. Sorry to bother you. Oh, no, you didn't at all. Thank you. He's bowing politely and left. I sent him waving a hand from the shop. Yeah, I just, like, have one of those, uh, one of those foam hands. I was, I was waving that foam hand at him. <laughs> uh, it's around the time for the sunset. The shopping district is getting lively with people going home. What? It's getting lively with people going home? I, I, okay, I, I, I don't get it. In this busy hour, there's always him. Who? Oh, that guy. Yeah. Kyosuke Kawahara. Okay, there we go. Hi, can you get me the usual ones, please? Ah, one that's big. The color is red and white, and of course, all of them needs to be rose. Kawahara-san. 
Mr. Kawahara, thank you. Is it for a birthday? Yeah, it's for my client's birthday. While the Mr. Suguri and Mr. Kawahara was talking, I went to get the rose bouquet as he ordered. I'm able to prepare for the small bouquet, but it takes time to prepare for the bigger bouquet. It took time, as you said, but I was able to finish the bouquet without asking for help from Takuma. Thank you for waiting, Mr. Kawahara. Aren't a little late? You should be able to make the bouquet easily by now. I need to be calm. I I'm sorry. Uh, so he's one of these asshole customers, huh? Keep the change. The one who's wearing a loud and loud outfit is Mr. Kawahara. He's working as a host club. Place providing... Proving... Proving... Place proving a male companion. Okay. Nearby. We had some trouble and had an argument, so we're not in good term. Thank you very much. Ah, He's customer, so I can't say much, but why is he having that kind of attitude? <laughs> Calm down. Because of his order, you're getting better. Mr. Kawahara always gets the big bouquet for his work. Of course, Rose looks looks elegant, so it'll pe so it'll people would like it, but it'll be nice to have seasonal flowers too. While I was thinking about Mr. Kawahara, there was a voice that I'm familiar with. Hey, what are you doing? Ah, Kohei, are you on your way back? Yeah, I saw you at the shop, so that's why. I see, I see. You must be tired from your job. What did you want to have today? A bouquet? N no, I mean, I wanted to talk to you. Uh, are you free this... Excuse me! Oh, hi, one moment. I'm sorry, Kohei. Later. Uh... Do I need better glasses, or did his name not have an I before? Whatever. Oh, wait! I'm sorry, that's one of regulars. If it's an emergency, I'll pass on the message to for you. No, that's okay. I'll leave now. Oh, so we've got... We've got a potential suitor. Alright. He's Kohei Natsumi. As if I didn't know his name already. We grew up together. Since I don't have siblings, he's like my old older brother. An older brother who wants to date you. Recently, he moved near my shop, and he pops in sometimes. I couldn't talk to, to to Kohei much today. I should text him later. Oh, it's nighttime now, huh? I think Mr. Saijo will be here soon. Is the flowers ready for him? Yeah, I'll bring it from the back door. Good evening. Mr. Saijo, hi. Thank you for using our flower again. Is it ready for me? This is Narumi Saijo, famous Japanese flower arrangement artist. His house is very close, so he uses our flowers. Mr. Saijo, thank you for waiting. Your order was Wisteria and Iris. The Wisteria is for the first time this year. I see. It looks beautiful. It's an elegant purple. Ah. Fits your robe. And I keep forgetting that there's actual voice acting in this. Yes, the colors are nice too, but the fragrance is also good too. Wah! When I was trying to bring the flower closer to Mr. Saijo, I felt dizzy and I grabbed Mr. Saijo's clothes. Whoops! Oh, they didn't rip off. Don't don't ask me why I expected that. Okay, just don't. Ah, I'm sorry, Mr. Saijo. I, I'm I just felt dizzy. Are you alright? Maybe you are too tired. <laughs> Mr. Suguri, did you make her overwork? Huh? Uh, I'm sorry. Anyway, are you two alright? I'm alright, Mr. Saijo. I'm okay too, don't worry. Whew, the flowers are not squashed. Mr. Saijo, we are very sorry. This is the one you ordered. Thank you. This is the fee. I'll be going now. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Please be careful. Oh? Mr. Saijo left a mysterious smile. He said something that I can only hear and left the shop. Hmm. Alright. Maybe he didn't have much meaning? 
I don't know what's going on. <laughs> While I was thinking about what he meant, Takuma tapped my shoulder. It's time to close. Shall we start cleaning up? Sh sure. I'll take the flowers inside from the front. With the job I like and surrounded by unique people, my day ends like this. It's fulfilling, but something's missing. I pull down a shutter as I was having a thought. Takuma, I'll go now. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. I left the shop after seeing a Takuma with a kind... With... Wow. I'm trying to make proper grammar in my head. <laughs> Whew, I'm tired today. I should refresh my mind before I go home. I wanted to play with one of the stray cat I played during the day at the park. Oh boy, I think I know what's going to happen. It was different kind of silence in the park at night. At night, it's illuminated nicely and the place looks more fashionable. I went to the usual place where I normally go during the day. There were more stray cats that I don't normally see during the day. During the day. Aw, oh, the cats at night is cute too. Are, are they like different cats or the same cats? I need context here, because all I have is like one still screen. With no action. <clears throat> when I went closer, the cats were a little bit cautious and looked up. After they understood that I won't do anything, they were back to relaxing mode. Relaxing mode. Engaged. <laughs> Can I relax with you? There were cats overlapping each... Overlapping at each other. And others playing around with other cats. I was sighing when I looked at relaxed cats. Ah... <sighs> I don't have any complaints for the job and nothing hard is there, but... Yeah, not yet anyway. But I feel like there's something missing. When I was stroking the cat came near my foot, that was beautiful black cat appeared from the... <laughs> I'm sorry, that just randomly got me. Oh, that's a... interesting... Like a heterochromia? Yeah, that's kind of interesting looking. Wow, beautiful black cat. Is that a house cat? When I looked at the black cat, I found out that it was an odd-eyed cat. Yeah, heterochromia. You're a rare one. Are you a house cat? You just asked that question. The black cat was just listening at my voice and looked back at me. Lean body and beautiful furs. It's like a living art piece. I want to be a cat. I was gazing at the beautiful eyes and said it without thinking. Then for a moment, everything stopped for a moment. And there was in, and there was in silence. Huh? What? All right, I'll make it happen for you. <laughs> what? With the mysterious voice, it became white as if there was a flash. I was getting confused and lost my consciousness. Mm, uh. When I opened my eyes, I was on the ground. I couldn't understand what happened, and I was blinking for a min. Wow, they... I heard a voice somehow. Hey. Hey, how long are you going to stay like that? When I brought my face up, there was this beautiful black cat looking into my face. What? The black cat was staying closer than, than I imagined, so I was surprised. When I got up quickly, I was seeing a different scenery than usual. What is this? The ground is closer? Oh my god, she became a cat! The ground was closer than I thought. I looked down at my foot and there were there was a two cat feet. <laughs> what? Huh? When I pull up the right hand, there's right cat foot up. And when I pulled, tried to pull up the left hand, the left foot up. And then you shake it all about. <laughs> it, it must be a dream. No, it can't be. I try to close my eyes, strong thinking it's a bad dream, and I open my eyes. But the scenery doesn't change at all. The black cat said, I was thinking it's a dream. <laughs> it's not a dream. Look. I was asked to look into the water to see, to see by black cat. There was white cat instead of my face. No, that can't be. 
Really? I just turned you to cat as you wish, but you can only be a at night. <laughs> I turned around immediately to what Black Cat told me. You said it yourself. You want to be a cat. I just made your wish come true. Huh? I remembered what I said before I lost my consciousness, and I regretted. I regretted so hard. I really said that, but I didn't mean it for real. Please turn me back to human. I'm in a situation like a fairy tale, but when it actually happens, I can't really enjoy. <laughs> uh, this bad translation has got to get old sometime. I was pleading to the black cat. I can only hear meowing around there. Turn back to human. I'm sorry, but I can't do anything about it. Then I'll... be... I was desperate about what Black Cat said. I didn't know how to live from now. I was worried about so much... so about so much about work and about my life. I was in despair. Black Cat is swaying its tail and said in, a, in an amusing voice, I can't do anything about it, but this is a curse. The curse always has a way to reverse the curse. Huh? What should I do? I was gazing at the black cat with hope. That is to kiss with someone you really love. Huh? Kiss? Someone I love? What? I was just confused with the words that I didn't expect. Black cat just faced the other way and tried to leave the park. Wait! <laughs> Good luck. As black cat said that, he disappeared like a smoke. I can't believe it. In order to reverse the curse, I have to kiss someone I really love. Black Cat said and left there. <coughs> True love. What should I do? I was standing alone in the middle of the park where no one was around. Okay, that's the prologue. Well... God, those eyes are creepy. Anyway, I guess that's going to be it for the first part. I guess I will go ahead and uh, see how this goes. Yeah. I don't know, the, uh, the mistranslation is really intriguing me. Anyway, see you guys later!